Hi, welcome to my presentation. My name is Sally Cassidy. I am the food system specialist for New Mexico State University's Ideas for Cooking and Nutrition program. We call the program ICANN for short, the ICANN program, so you may hear me say that in the presentation. And what I'm here to talk to you about is Seed to Supper and how you can volunteer if you're interested in helping with this project. Okay, so we, before we get started with talking about Seed to Supper, I wanted to just give a quick little snapshot of what the ICANN program is. So ICANN is a nutrition education program that is through Cooperative Extension in uh, at New Mexico State University. And we currently have 21 counties that we have educators in. So we have educators who work within the community, and then we also have the state team, which is what I'm on, who work to serve the entire state of New Mexico. And if you'd like more information on our program, uh, what classes we offer, resources, all those things, feel free to go to our website at ican.nmsu.edu and find all of that. And now we will talk about Seed to Supper. Seed to Supper is a curriculum that is focused on adults who are beginning gardeners who want to learn how to grow their own vegetables. And there are six classes in the curriculum. Typically, we teach one class per week, so that's why you see here it says a six-week six course. And these are the topics that are covered in Seed to Supper. So it's really designed for that beginner, beginning gardener. So we start with planning and go through uh, soil prep, planting, how to care for your garden, and uh, the last class is on harvesting your crops and gives resources on how you can use those. So recipes, uh, how to store, so freeze or um, store your vegetables that you grew. And this curriculum was developed by Oregon State University and the Oregon Food Bank. They came together in a partnership to help the community. And uh, eventually they opened up the program so that other states can use it and adapt it to their growing environment. So that's exactly what we did here in New Mexico. We took the curriculum, adapted it to our growing climate, which as I'm sure you're all aware is very different than the Pacific Northwest where they get a lot of rain and we get barely any here, so very different. Uh, once that curriculum was adopted, adapted, not adopted, <laughs> we uh, then started offering the program out in the community and we've been providing Seed to Supper here in New Mexico since 2019, so about two years now. All right, so to the point of this presentation is how can you, as a Master Gardener, help with this project? And we have two options. One is more focused on 2021, and then we have an option for 2022. Okay, so to talk about what you can do in this year, we have uh, our Seeds to Supper 2021, and this is going to focus on the virtual learning, since that seems to still be how our life is in 2021. So, if you are interested in helping with Seed to Supper in 2021, we have online one hour question and answer sessions for the Seed to Supper online course. 
And this is just a general meeting, very casual, where uh, we come to Zoom is, is what we use, the Zoom platform. And uh, pe students can come if they have any questions about what they're learning in the course, they can ask those. So you will get questions um, that range uh, that have to do with vegetable gardening. So it could be a bug, it could be soil, it could be sunshine. Uh, to me, it's very similar to questions you may get if you help with the hotline, the Master Gardener hotline, or uh, emails that the community may send in, or um, tabling at an event, or things like that. So very simple, very fun. These tend to be a lot of fun. And uh, you as a master gardener do not need to know how to run the tech. You don't need to worry about any of that. I take care of that component. You just need to log on to the meeting, show up, and help answer those questions. So this is option number one, is to help with the online via Zoom question and answer sessions. The next option, we have option two, is for 2022. And that is to teach in-person classes in 2022, the Seed to Supper curriculum in your community. This is how the, the program traditionally started, was in-person classes. A master gardener would take a training learn how to teach the curriculum, and then go into their community and teach it to the public. Uh, so we will plan on doing this in 2022. If you're interested in this uh, choice, we will have you sign up. I'll talk about how to do that in one second. And then later on this year, more likely towards the fall, we'll have a training to get you up to speed that will make you hopefully confident and comfortable to teach this curriculum and provide all the information on setting up the classes, uh, all the resources that you need. We help set all of that up. And you'll learn more about that in the training. So option two with Seed to Supper is to sign up to teach these classes in person in 2022. So how to sign up if you're interested in helping with either option one or two, the Q&A or teaching in person in 2022, is to use our online volunteer form to sign up. And that link is going to be posted in the video description. So if you scroll down, you will find that information. You can click that link and it'll take you to a short little registration form to sign up. Or uh, the other option is we'll have it available on our website too. So you can go to ican.nmsu.edu and we're going to have a tab on the left-hand side that will say for master gardeners. Click that and it will take you to the page to sign up. And that's it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or call me. My email address is right here and my phone number. And uh, this really is a super fun, fun program. So I hope that you're interested in helping. And like I said, any questions, please email me. I can connect you with some master gardeners who have taught in the past if you're curious to learn how it worked for them. Uh, but otherwise, I really just wish you luck with your garden in 2021, and uh, hopefully I will get to see you in person eventually sometime this year. So until then, happy gardening, and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye!